if you love Lego deals, you probably just stumbled on the right channel because here at the channel, we analyze Lego deals, we invest in Lego a little bit, but more on the sense of just trying to get like good Lego sets for good prices. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be rating some of the current Lego sets that are on sale via Amazon because Amazon, for whatever reason, has heavily clearanced a lot of Lego sets. So we're going to go straight through it. We're going to go through, I have listed a bunch of sets and then I have some more we can kind of go through. Uh, but if that all sounds fun and uh, you're interested in scooping up some Lego deals and of course, getting out them credit cards and uh, swiping the card, this probably is a video for you. So thanks so much for clicking on today's thumbnail, guys. I appreciate it. Let's jump straight on into it. I'm going to be your host, Cristo from Stud City. And uh, let's get on to this list. So first things first, I do like to mention that we are going to see a lot of Lego sales this month. And it's going to get pretty chaotic. So when deals come, it's, it's hard not to – it's hard to wait. Like you don't want to miss out on them. And I – I know from experience that I always regret more that I waited on and trying to get, you know, a dollar or two or cheaper, whatever it is in the hindsight, right? Um, jump on the deals that you guys want. If you're waiting for something, don't – I wouldn't risk the biscuit. I know there's going to be better sales that come out, but it depends what sets that is. So, anyways, the first one that's popping up is 30% off the Dark Trooper Attack Mandalorian – I don't know why it's called Mandalorian, but anyways, it's the Dark Trooper Attack 75324. This is currently 30% off on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link a lot of these sets in the description below um, so you can have a quick access to these. But 30% off for this set right here, 25 bucks. Three Dark Troopers is quite significant, guys. I mean, it... it it's a great looking set. It has uh, great pieces in it, three great minifigs, and then of course getting a Luke Skywalker, so four great minifigs, all for 25 bucks, not too bad. So I don't know, will we see it go cheaper? For me, this is probably the cheapest price I've seen personally in the sense of YMMV, so your miles may vary. For anybody just readily available to just literally take your card, click your card, swipe it, and get it. I think this is probably one of the best deals I've seen. I know people are like, okay, well, Costco had it for like, I think it was like $17.50 or $18. That to me does not count as a, a, a great deal simply because how many people have Costco cards? How many people want to go and drive out to Costco's and get lucky or drive to multiple Costco's and get that, get that sale? Of course, if you're there grocery shopping, you stumble across it, great. But to me, this is a far better deal being accessible to everybody. And of course, you got to count member fees as well. So anyways, that for me is a very good deal. I actually went ahead and grabbed a couple of these as well. So anyways, that's kind of what I thought on that one. Um, next up, we have the Lego Star Wars. Uh, we have Yoda's uh, Jedi Starfighter. This one's 20% off. A brand new set. This came out, if you don't remember, this came out August 1st. And it's already... 20% off and at $28. Personally, I don't think this is the greatest deal. I think it'll go even lower, especially since it's so freaking new. I think I put a price range of around $22 on this one, $21, $22. I think that would be my my threshold to picking this up. Still kind of high, but if you're waiting for it, waiting for a sale on it, it's already 20% off. Go ahead and snag that bad boy up. This is a set that's interesting, and I think this is falls on the better deals. This, for me, is the cheapest I have seen, the Luke Skywalker X-Wing Fighter. I know it's not it's not the scale of the original, like some of the older X-Wings, right? And it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's got, like, a whole play feature smaller than uh, some of the originals, right? But this was a decent set. I really enjoyed the build, and it's the cheapest I've seen in at 25% off for $37.49. So call it $38. Bucks. Um, not a bad little set. You get pretty cool minifigs. You get Luke Skywalker. You get Princess Leia. You get uh, General... Is a Dundana and then R2D2, of course. So pretty cool build, enjoyable one, especially for the price threshold. I think that falls under the good deals. Next up, we have a Clone Trooper Battle Pack 501st, 20% off for 16 bucks. I mean, this goes without saying. I think this is you know four bucks a minifig, great value here. Um, you know, they do have helmet holes, but cry about it, I guess. <laughs> That's where we are in today's world. So great set. That one is a. Uh, Enough said. We we talk about this one a lot. Just uh, pointing it out, it's still on sale. This is kind of a recently added one. It's the 332nd Clone Trooper Battle Pack, Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. This one's also 20% off in at $16. And again, four clones, 
four dollars a piece can't complain they're a really cool set great one i actually uh have quite a few of these so uh, i'll definitely be adding more here by by your end i know it's not retiring or anything but when the deals are playing i'm a shopping uh next we have a again a really good set that a lot of people just didn't think would go on sale and here we are 20 percent off for 112 bucks we have the attte walker i think this is a fair price point um not in the sense of just an amazing deal, but I think it's a very fair price point, uh, 112 bucks for this bad boy. Uh, again, it's not retiring at the end of the year, which is always great. You have more time to pick it up, but 1,082 pieces, a, a great assortment of minifigs. This is definitely a set I'm going to want a lot more of in the future after its retirement. So it's time like these where I'm just like, okay, bite the bullet a little bit, grab a couple copies, and just uh, have them for later on. This is a set you probably don't want to miss out on. And I'm going to rank this one as a good deal. And I'll give you the price in just a minute, moment and some of my rationale. First off, this set's retiring at the end of the year. It's the ATAT, -AT, and it's kind of like the Hoth cover one, right, uh, with the Snow Troopers. It even has the 40-year Empire Strikes Back logo on the box as well. Really cool box art. Uh, but anyways, it's $135 or 20% off. Very decent price point, guys. Again, I'll link this one in the description below as well. Um, it, it's It's a great set. It's just ATAT. Uh, -AT, you know, they'll probably make more of them. They'll probably make another one as soon as this one retires. But this one happens to be retiring at the end of the year. Of course, they'll have like different minifigs in it. Um, but yeah, really cool set. Good minifigs. Cool build. 20% off retiring. This for me is up here on the deals list. It's a, it's a very great deal, I would say. Um, next up, we have the Lego Dagobah Jedi training. And I think this falls under great deals as well. This one's 36% off for $57, 58 bucks. Um, very decent deal. Again, falling on the good sales list here. Uh, really cool set as well. I think this is probably one of my favorite diorama sets um, of the bunch. So probably worthwhile. I do have a sealed copy. I plan on building this one and <laughs> I guess it's makes sense, right? We got Yoda, plushy Yoda in the background. I don't, you know, this is kind of like a Yoda's, <laughs> Yoda's throne room over here, Yoda's house, right? So anyways, good deal on that one. Uh, next we have the spider tank again, a fairly new set. This actually released on August 1st of 2023, again, being brand new set, essentially it's already 20% off guys. And I think, I think this is, uh, I don't even call this one a fair deal. I think this is just a meh. Um, I think it'll go cheaper. It's 20% off in at $40. $40, 526 pieces. You do get a Bo-Katan. You get Mandalorian and Grogu. However, I think this set is... Uh, I, it should have released way sooner when Mandalorian came out in like March, April. So... Um, yeah, essentially, it, it just, I think they really messed up on the release day, and August was just way too late past the show. It's not a huge scene from the show, and uh, it's different. It is a different set. So anyways, I think my price range for this one is $25, uh, and at the 50% off, I just think this is a, a $25 set in, uh, in my eyes. But anyways, I'd wait out on that one. I don't think it's a great deal. Next, we have 20% off on the TIE Bomber. I personally believe this is a meh, again, a fair deal. I think 20% uh, off is decent if you're just kind of waiting, holding out for it. But $52 is more along the lines of kind of what it probably been should have priced at. Um, I think this is, uh, for my buy range, I believe in the $40 range. I think that would be a little bit more feasible. Uh, will it ever go that low? I don't know. I've seen the sale on it before. I think it was like $45, $46. Um, so maybe just a little bit cheaper than that. But anyways, you do get a uh, Darth Vader minifig, which is awesome. So... Regardless, a really cool set. Definitely a fan favorite on this one. So if you're waiting on that one, probably a good time to get it. Uh, next up, we have a retiring soon set here at the end of 2023. This is the LEGO Star Wars Millennium Falcon. It's set number 75257. Comes with an assortment of minifigs, right? Comes with Finn, Chewbacca, Lando Carizian, Bulio, C-3PO, R2-D2, and D-O minifigs. Uh, it's from, uh, what was it, Rise of Skywalker collection. Uh, anyways, really cool assortment of minifigs. Um... I know we had built this one with one of my cousins. It was a really enjoyable set. Uh, but anyways, like I said, 20% off, 136 bucks. Uh, I've been to Target a few times this past month, and I think three out of the you know eight times I went there, I, that's, that's rough numbers, don't quote me on that, but three out of the eight times I seen somebody in with this set in their cart, and I was like, wow, that's interesting, right? Like, it's an iconic set. It's a decent price sale. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome to see. So 
really good one. Take advantage of that one. I'll definitely link that one in the description as, as well as below. Uh, number two, uh, most gifted Lego set comes uh, the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader helmet. I think this goes without saying this is going to be an amazing set after retirement. It's a really good helmet piece. Uh, one of one of the better helmets, I would say. It's surely not an amazing one compared to like the TIE Fighter Pilot helmet or uh, even I think the Scout Trooper was a little bit better. His eyes look a little off. But anyway, still, it's freaking Darth Vader. So 63 bucks, 20% off. Don't wait around on that one as well. I think it's a decent price point. Uh, next up, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, another great set with great minifigs. This one's 20% off for $24. I think we've seen some flash sales of this thing going for around $21. So if you're a patient and want to wait for those flash sales, uh, again, it's kind of luck of the draw. When you're going with online sales, it's really tough to land some of these. That's why we're on this channel uh, posting as frequent and often as we can. Uh, another set we have is 30% off, which has been a constant 30% off for a little bit of time. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. Uh, a nice parts pack, I would say, and uh, decent minifigs. I don't think I'd be displaying the set as is, but if anything, I would have the minifigs pulled out and uh, keep this one for parts. But anyways, 35 bucks, 30% off. Will it go cheaper? Meh, time will tell. I, again, falling in that fair deal. Uh, this I would consider a good deal. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what the Star Wars advent calendars are, or even an advent calendar, essentially it's like counting down the uh, 25 days of Christmas, right? And... Uh, Pretty exciting stuff. They have an assortment of different builds and minifigs incorporated into it. It's 36 bucks for 20% off. Again, I'm putting it in the good deal just because December 1st is rolling around extremely quick. Uh, and I personally want an advent calendar. And I don't know. I don't have time to go to Walmart shopping like a million Walmarts to find them for 10 to $20 on extreme clearance. So for me, this might have to suffice. Um, <laughs> I really want that Ewok. Well, let me rephrase that. Georgiana really wants that Ewok. So that's kind of why I think that's a good deal. I'll go ahead and link that one as well. Uh, we also have the Captain Rex helmet, 20% off. I think a bunch of the other helmets were 20% off as well. Uh, I just noting Captain Rex because I think this is for the most part, probably one of the better looking ones in my eyes. Um, sorry, aside from the Darth Vader. Next we have the diorama, Trench Run, the Star Wars uh, Trench Run diorama. <clears throat> this one's 20% off, and I believe this is retiring here at the end of 2023. No exclusives minifigs. I think this deal is pretty meh for me. I think a buy range of $35 for this set, just because of the no minifigs. Um, I just, without minifigs, this set is, uh, I feel like you can part out extremely cheap. I'm not sure. I think that those pieces were stickers, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I might be wrong. It might be printed. But regardless, I think it can go cheaper. We also have a retiring soon set of the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Again, a great battle pack here. We're going to see this one off the shelves. Probably going to regret missing out on more copies of these. I uh, love the speeder. Love the side build. Love the minifigs. Really, really just a strong set here. So 16 bucks, 4 bucks a fig. Not too bad. Uh, getting out of the Star Wars a little bit, we have a few sets I wanted to kind of cover. Uh, we have the Lego Ideas Treehouse still heavily clearanced at 42% off. It's absurd on the price point. Will it go cheaper? Gosh, I have no idea. If it does go cheaper, I'll I'll probably have to buy a bunch more because uh, that's crazy. But 142 bucks. if you don't own the set, it's probably... It's probably worthwhile to get. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was an amazing set. You get two different leaf colors, the orange and then the green to kind of showcase summer and fall. Uh, but anyways, really cool one. Next up, we have a city police car. 36% off on this one. Nice little city ad. I think this goes for a great deal. Um, just a nice vehicle to add to your Lego collection, uh, Lego City, whatever it may be for very cheap. Uh, and speaking of cars, we have a retiring soon set, which is the 007. This for me falls under the probably good deals. 25% uh, off, 15 bucks. Can't beat it for a Speed Champions. Really, really cool set, and especially like a movie favorite from uh, the famous, you know, Aston Martin DB5. Next up, we have a Jurassic World set. The I'm not even trying to pronounce this. Uh, it starts with a Q. Uh, really cool set. Uh, I think this deer falls. This deal falls is pretty good, uh, fair and good, kind of in between that mark. Um, it's 28 bucks or 37 percent off. It's a nice build. I think the plane is really good. Uh, I know I, the one thing I'm gonna struggle with here is the flying dinosaur. I just I don't know how in the world you're gonna display that. I know it's awesome that Lego's making these molds. I just for me I have no idea like how I would. I would display this dinosaur. Like I would just have to lay him flat and he'd probably look really funny on a shelf. So without some kind of awesome display, I think this set um, kind of lacks in my, in my eyes. Uh, any flying sets I feel like are very difficult to kind of display. Uh, this one I think is a little bit different just because you can position it on a runway or something or on like a, <clears throat> on a stand or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but it's a plane. It's from Indiana Jones. It's the fighter plane chase. It's 20% off and at 28 bucks. Again, being a really popular set, I think this deal falls under good. 
Uh, we also have a retiring student set. It's a Speed Champions, the Aston, not the Aston Martin. I'm so sorry. It's the Mercedes two pack. This is probably one of my favorite two packs, simply because you get a Formula One vehicle, and of course that's being Mercedes. Um, I love Formula One, and to get a Formula One Speed Champions for twenty eight dollars, not too bad. I'd like to see it go a little bit cheaper, but hey, we'll take what we can get on that one. Uh, next up, we have the Lamborghini Huracan Technic set. This one retails for 50 bucks, but currently 20% off. I think this is definitely a little bit more favorite on the Technic side. Um, and I think it's a decent price point. So for me, this is a great deal in my eyes. Next up, we have 20% off the Lego City Express Passenger Train set. Again, a worthwhile set to bring up. I mean, that price for me is pretty decent, guys. 152 bucks. Uh, I always express that... I express that the express passenger trains are great values because you get the Bluetooth system, you get a boatload of Lego train tracks, you get a, a Lego set that freaking moves, you can put it around a Christmas tree, and you get a bunch of Lego to build. So I think these are amazing sets to buy. Again, $152 is not too bad. A great Christmas gift, um, great just entry-level Lego train. Um, I know the piece count is a little bit lower, 764, but you got to think you're getting all the train tracks, you're getting all the Bluetooth functions. That's kind of my thought process there. But uh, a couple other sets we have is the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Carriage and Thestral set, 25% off for 15 bucks. Nice little set. Um, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but I thought this one was really cool. Those Thestrals, if I'm pronouncing that correct, are really, really cool. So might have to grab one of these or two of these. Uh, you do get some tree elements too. I don't really care about the carriage, but I, those Thestrals, I really do want. Uh, I'm not... Last but not least, uh, I'm going to call this a bad deal because this set is extremely overpriced. We have the Batmobile, uh, Batmans vs. the Joker. Uh, this was actually new to, I believe, July 1st release. Uh, but anyways, this uh, set is extremely overpriced. The retail price on this one, I think, is $48. It's 20% off, 38, uh, down to $38. Bucks. Uh, I guess if you're a huge Batman fan, it might be worthwhile picking up. Uh, I just, I, I truthfully believe this is a $30 retail set, um, let alone clearance. So that's just kind of my perspective on that one. Uh, I think $30 is a little bit more fair. Uh, $30, I think it would be a decent decent and fair deal. So that's going to cover it for that. I Again, I will link a lot of these sets in the description below. I hope you found this video useful, entertaining, and informative. I love going through some of these sets. Uh, I love kind of ranking these. This is a little bit different, little style of video. Um, for me, again, probably the best deal on here is this Dark Trooper attack. Uh, again, I love the pieces that are incorporated in this let alone the mini fix. But that's going to wrap it up. Thank you, Yoda, for hanging out in the background this entire video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, leave me some feedback here, a new style of video, kind of ranking the Lego deals and sales. Uh, one last thing to close off today's video as you hit that subscribe button on your way out. We don't have a sponsor for today's video, so you guys know me. I like to showcase a Pokemon card from my collection. And in today's video, we're going to showcase a first edition Snorlax from Jungle. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know me, I like to showcase a Pokemon card from my collection, my personal collection, every single video, just because we don't really have sponsors. So I thought it's a good way to implement something. But anyways, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and we will see you in the next one. My name is Christopher from Seth City. Love you guys. Peace out.